a rich candidate compared to the poorest candidate who is ranked 10 is likely to get 24% more vote share. Now, how do I come to this calculation? We'll try to create some simple examples to get there. So, how do we do it? So, let's define two candidates. One candidate is A and another candidate is B. And how do we define on the various parameters in terms of parties? A is a national party and B is an independent candidate. What are their respective ages? Let's have candidate A whose age is 50. Let's have candidate B whose age is 60. Okay. In terms of education, let's have candidate A who is a graduate and let's have candidate B who is not a graduate. Crime records. Candidate A is clean and candidate B has some crime record. Yes. You're just creating an example. In terms of asset rank, candidate A happens to be the richest in the constituency, whereas candidate B asset rank in terms of is, is let's say eight. He's the eighth person. So he's the A is the richest, B is the eighth person. Okay. So how do I find out who is going to get what percentage of votes? So I do a very simple part. So I've just copied the intercept and these terms and let's put up candidate A. So what are the scores he's going to get? For intercept, that's common to both parties. So both should get one. So what about B? B also gets one for the intercept. Now let's move, move on to age. Candidate A is 50 years old. Candidate B is 60 years old. One of them is from the national party, which is candidate A. So he gets a one out here. Okay. Whereas B is not a national party. He gets zero. Candidate is national party, he is independent. So none of them are regional parties really. So both of them are zero. Candidate A is a graduate. What about candidate B? Candidate B is not a graduate. Candidate A has no criminal record. But candidate B has criminal record. In terms of asset rank, candidate is the richest guy. And this guy has a rank of eight. So what is the vote share which we have? To get the vote share, it is going to be beta 0 plus beta 1 x1. So I'm doing for vote share for A. Vote share for A. And similarly, I'm doing vote share for B. And all I need to do is now replicate this formula, which is this times this. And I drag it because each of the terms is nothing but beta 1 x1, beta 2 x2 for A. And similarly for him, for candidate B, I do this. And I have this. So what is the vote share which I am going to have? Okay, I get 26.4219 and have 0.81753. So what does it mean? Which means between these two candidates, A is likely to get 26% of the vote and B is only likely to get 0.81% of the vote. 